So YouTube is finally addressing a lot of issues that affect content creators on the platform. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And the other day I was scrolling through uh, Twitter and I saw this tweet that actually came out uh, dealing with YouTube content creators. It was the YouTube creators uh, Twitter account. And I saw that YouTube was actually making some changes to the platform to help combat and identify uh, like a lot of the spam bots that come through. And this is one thing that is very annoying as a content creator you get a lot of spam bots and this this happens from you know smaller youtube channels all the way up to the top and it's essentially someone running a bot that is writing a whole bunch of spam con comments underneath your video as soon as you upload it it could be seconds after the video goes live and you'll receive like two or three you know spam bots and this is an issue it's very annoying uh especially with you having to go in and remove all these comments and then in the past i saw that some of these comments can make you a target for youtube meaning that you're responsible for the comments that are under your video and i've seen cases where channels have got deleted behind the comments in the chat as well as like duplicate accounts that people use uh to create comments so they seem a little bit more legit um like a duplicate of the content creator themselves and youtube has a hard time distinguishing those spam accounts which is weird doesn't make sense you know you think you would be able to see that these accounts are fake or for for someone else and not the content creator but i actually seen someone get their channel deleted a a while back because of some spam comments as well as a, a duplicate account or a clone account that someone created to look as though they're the official content creator. Now, I was reading through some of the changes and I wanted to go through them with you guys. And uh, one of the reasons I wanted to show this is because uh, I'm friends with a lot of content creators like uh, Kev Tech, you know, Tech G, Professor Black Ops. And uh, I saw Tech G actually do a video on them unhiding the uh subscriber count and that's a way of them combating this uh by unhiding those subscriber accounts that way you can see who the comments are actually coming from and you don't mistake in a uh, account with like zero subscribers or one subscriber as the real content creator now it kind of doesn't affect and what i'm talking about those uh clone accounts it kind of doesn't affect a lot of the super big content creators because most of them have a check mark at the end of the day and so as long as you see that check mark is there then you know that's the official content creator that's making the comment you know or replying to your comment but this will help out with the smaller content creators like myself uh, where i only have like 12,000 subscribers and someone can easily create a duplicate account with my picture up there and a lot of people wouldn't be the wiser if it's the you know someone else's account or not but let's hop over to twitter i just wanted to read through this thread right fast so you guys can you know kind of see the changes that they're creating like i said there is some tools that they're actually uh putting on the back side of youtube you know for the content creators in the creator studio and i just wanted to show you guys what those all are so let's hop over that right now. Before we move forward, I wanted to ask the Keep It Techie fam to consider joining my channel membership. By joining the membership, you can support the channel, get access to member-only videos, tech mentorship, early technical course access, and exclusive Linux content. Thanks, and back to the video. All right, so this is the thread. It was actually posted on June 30th. Uh, it says, we know how important it is to protect you and your community from bad actors. Uh, that's why we're launching uh, the spam uh, protection program to combat identity abuse related spam that stores in comment sections. Uh, so read below. And this is this breaks down every everything they're changing. So uh, second tweet is creators can now test 
a new common setting in studio called increased strictness uh, that will hold even more potentially inappropriate or spam comments for review. So that's where it's gonna catch a lot of those spam comments. And I'll put a couple examples up on the screen so you guys can see. Now the next one it says channels will no longer be able to hide their subscriber count. And like I said, I've seen people, multiple people talk about this, this actual comment, but they didn't really cover the other issues or the other changes that they're creating that they're making to the the YouTube studio. But it basically says channels will no longer be able to hide their subscriber accounts, a common tactic we see spammers employed to impersonate established channels. While we recognize some creators prefer this option, removing it helps the whole community be safer. All right, and so using special characters and channel names is another way that bad actors skirt youtube's anti-spam protection and i'll show you guys a couple of those examples as well they they use a lot of those special characters as well as emojis uh in the comments and that's one of the ways it gets around but it says we're also reducing the character set that creators can choose from when updating their name moving forward so if you got some special characters in in your name they'll basically be stopping you from changing your name using those special characters that I see a lot of people use. Now, the last one, it says we're committed to continually improving our system and tools to better detect and reduce spam uh, comments and beyond. And we'll continue to listen to your feedback. And it's crazy, man. I remember I've been reporting, you know, these types of comments for years now. Um, and it took them, you know, all this time to actually try to come up with a fix for it or at least address the issue but let me go over to the the spam prote protection link let me go to and this is the actual thread from google um but it says updates to reduce common spam and impersonation on youtube and i'll have this link down in the description uh of the video but this was released five days ago and so it says hi everyone and i won't read through this whole thing but it basically covers all the tweets or whatever and it has all the information there for you like for instance this is an example of those channels with the special characters in it they want to be able to you won't be able to use you know those types of channel names anymore uh which is somewhat of a good thing i think it'll and they've been doing research on this i guess they they've been looking at all the comments that have been reported because trust me i've reported like thousands of these spam comments uh to get them off my page and it's mainly because it's irritating and and it looks like i'm still gonna have to go through that because uh, it's hell for review or i could just ignore it as long as uh it's catching the right comments now i've ran into issues where some comments that were legit were automatically removed or are held up for review uh so I guess they got some bugs they still need to work out with this thing or maybe you can adjust it in the background I haven't looked too deep into adjusting it as much to to help I've just been going in removing stuff but anyway I hope you guys enjoy the video I hope you got something out of it I know this is not a Linux video this just kind of covers uh, something that's going on in the news and something that will affect content creators in the future um so definitely check out those articles which i have them down in the description of the video as always please like share and subscribe to the channel and go on and consider signing up for the membership on the channel it's basically set up so you guys can support the channel and anything you donate to the channel or support to the channel um it's definitely appreciated and i hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course keep it techie